guys, what's up? And today we are going to be doing my top five favorite Nerf guns that I own. And I've been really wanting to do a Nerf gun video. Ugh, sorry. But I haven't uh, known anything when I should do about. So I thought of this one and I had to do it. So let's get into it. My fifth favorite Nerf gun is... Cool nose. Super cool. Let me just take this uh, red dot side off. Yeah. Super cool. Super nice rival gun. If you have, if you don't know what a Nerf Kronos is, it's like a Magnum pistol. It's a huge pistol that you cock. It's pretty hard to cock. Then you open this little hatch. And it can store five bolts. There's currently a coat currently put in there. I'm gonna shoot it. The chip. Tell me if you guys got that on camera. I'm gonna shoot the camera now. Gosh. One more time. Tell me if you guys got that. Super powerful, nice, light, awesome pistol. And if you put get a red dot sight. Put it on. I think it looks a, a bit like the silence pistol from Fortnite. So that's number five on my list. Number four is the Recon Mark II. So the Recon probably works the same. It's just, I don't. I've never bought the Recon, but I've got the Recon Mark II, and I got these attachments from the original Recon, put it on, then I put on this attachment, and I think it just looks like a real gun. I can't remember what its name is, but it's semi-auto, but I think it looks super cool like this, and I just like the look of it. Performance? Okay, <laughs> there's a bullet in the barrel, especially with the barrel, it's not great, but just mainly it's because it mainly looks, just looks super cool, yeah, and the grip feels super nice. I think it's just a really cool looking blaster. And I have the 12 dark clear magazine in it. So that's my number four favorite. Yeah. There we go. My number three favorite. Okay, let's go move these other Nerf guns. The Nerf. Raptor Strike. This th gun is huge. It's actually the second longest gun that Nerf has ever made. The first is like an AccuStrike Mega Line that you can extend the barrel. This is huge. It's like a foot long. It's super big. I really, it's probably the best sniper you can get as it's trying, uh, so far. It's trying to scope pop up, pop down, just pressing this little button, then it just has a normal sniper handle, and it has this little stand right here, that you can adjust, one, two notches, and then you can just put all the way back down, ugh, And you can rotate it 360. You can rot it, rotate it wherever you want. I just love the look of this sniper. Really like this little thing right here. Feels super nice. Like, feels super nice. And I really like how the stock looks. With the little cheek rest, the back, and these magazines. 
sniper magazines. So much like sniper magazines. Probably the best sniper mag you can get that Nerf has made. And then there's just a simple trigger button, release button, and there it has feel normal Nerf gun. So that's my top three. Yeah. Top three favorite. My third favorite Nerf gun. The bow and that too. Amazing light. Super confused. How do I look like this next? Okay. Yep. So that's my third favorite. Moving on to my second favorite is the Nerf. Regulator. It's a rev up gun. The handle first is the rubber gun, which I just showed you. The trigger, and then the release button. Take that out, pop it back in, and then it has this thing right here, which makes it really cool. Nerf gun, and uh, the Nerf gun has switch fire, so oh, I stepped on one of my Nerf guns can go single fire, uh, triple burst, full auto, I think is really cool, and then it has this light, so when you're out of ammo, it lights up red, excuse me one moment, I was going to sneeze and I didn't, it has a stock attachment, normal stock I think the stock looks cool and it can hold a magazine which I think is really good this isn't the original magazine it comes with it comes with a normal 12 note magazine but I really like how these look this is a Doomland like strife reskin kind of blaster in the Doomland series and I just think these look so much cooler I think they should have added these instead of the normal 12 note because it just matches the gun. And then, so that's the stock attachment. It's a normal stock. Take it off, put it back on. Like any end strike stock. And then, has this tactical railing that you can put like a hand grip on or something like that. Has the top thing right there. And it has a bill which you can take off. Put it like a scoop. Then look for it. Put it has a handle. Need to wrap up this video soon. I'm kind of rushing. That's no regulator. Yeah. There we go. And my first favorite, if you've been watching the channel, you probably already know what it is. It's the Nerf Nemesis. One of the, one of the best guns ever. Super cool gun. It has a hundred rounds. Open it. Won't rev up if it's open. Close it. You can rev up. And if you, how you take out the hopper is just simply open up this black little door. Take it out. The only problem I have with putting the hopper in is a little bit difficult, but not too bad. Put it back in. And then at the front, there's a little iron set you can pop up. You know, for the snooper. A uh, super sniper status. In case you want to headshot some people. And then has a sling attachment. Really comfy handle. And a uh, safety feature. 
Don't shoot, won't rev up. So it's that. Normal handle, pretty big handle. And then the only problem I have with this is it's really heavy. The stock is super heavy because it has six D batteries in it, which is insane. So I wouldn't recommend giving this so getting this for little kids. But that's the only problem I've had for, with it. Such a good blaster. Uh, I would recommend buying it. And this is it on really low batteries. Just listen. It's really loud. So that's my favorite blaster. All of our, my nerf gun. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Peace!